People are, are called groups. What should we do now? Let's see. Purpose. Six hundred as well. Purpose goes in the section. Your microphone is not working well. Yes. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. It's better now. It's better now? Yes. 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 For I, my headphones. I thought that I was me. Oh, no, my, it was Brian in the chat telling me mm -hmm. that it didn't work well. But yeah, fortunately, it's better. If you can hear me well, we can continue. Let's do okay. So today is one of my favorite days because it's Friday and not because it's party day, but because it is speaking. We are going to practice a little bit of feedback on the words that on the on the you know the ability we are going to develop today speaking okay this is an active ability and this is going to be working for your section the speaking section it's very interesting and very similar to the previous exams okay This exam, the speaking section, is what you saw on the video with the girl and the guy talking. Do you remember that video where they're having a speaking uh, exam? Or no? Oh, we didn't see it. Yes. Yeah, we saw it all at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Many months ago. Kinsa and Mohammed. That was the video. Where is he? Where is he? Well, anyway, th this is the video that we are talking about. The one where the assessor, the, the teacher, is asking these two guys to have a conversation about some topics, and then they have this uh, talk, right? It's similar to what you have to do. You have to speak and answer some questions with the best structure and the best vocabulary that you can handle, okay? This is the easiest part of the exam, and the, the tip, that I can give you is the same. Study vocabulary. Memorize more words, because this is the difference between a good exam and a bad exam, vocabulary. I focus a lot on structure, but I noticed that Cambridge prefers vocabulary. So you can have a an intermediate structure, but if you have a lot of vocabulary, you can get a very good punctuation. You can get a really, really nice score in the speaking test. 
That's why I strongly recommend to practice your words, practice your vocabulary, because that's that's the best way to get to get information. A best word. So the best way you can the best way you can use it is with this the Oxford five thousand filter this list by B one and learn all these words because they are going to help you with the speaking list. Which is this. Now, what kind of questions can we see in the speaking exam? The first question that I have here, for example, is talking about the about your life, about the school, about work, and some other questions that are very common in a normal conversation. Uh -huh. The B one. Speaking test. Is similar to a common conversation about you. These kind of examples include things like, for example, uh, let me extract an example. Wait a minute. Hello, sample papers, this is that speaking test. Okay, I'm gonna show you an example of an exam that you can get. Over here it says, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. We speak about, we take two candidates, candidate A, candidate B, we ask their name, and then there are these type of prompts. Prompt is similar to question. It's like a request. And then the teacher asks, do you work or are you a student? What do you study? Or what do you do? Do you have a job? Do you study? What job do you do? What subject do you study? Tip number one, if you don't understand these questions, automatically the person is going to help you. If you don't understand in the second uh, chance, the teacher is not going to tell anything, but the second time will be super necessary to, to understand because if not, it's a negative score. So you should definitely study these type of questions because they are very, very common. This is the first question that I'm going to ask you. I'm going to take notes of your answers, and then I'm going to send you a feedback on WhatsApp. So let's start with you. Let's start, for example, with by order of number uh, of uh, connection. The first person that connected was Brian. Brian, what do you do? I am a programmer. <laughs> okay. And that's it? That's your answer? Um, yes, I, I think. Oh. Good. Okay. <laughs> I am a programmer. That's a nice answer. You can expand it a little bit more with the place and um, the city, for example. Uh, okay. Yeah, I... I... I need to know the, the context, maybe, if you are totally strange for me. <laughs> maybe <laughs> I can tell you if, where I am or something like that. <laughs> well, the context here is, imagine you are having a conversation with a British person, because this is a, the Cambridge test. Okay. So let's imagine if the, the, the person that is going to test you is a, Cam is a Cambridge member that doesn't know anything about you. Anything about uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's different. 
اوكي اي ام ستودنت لا حاجه عندي ستودنت اي ام ام بروجرامر سينس 2017 اوكي اند اي فروم تايم اي لايك سبيند تايم playing video games. Good job. I like spending time playing video games. The ING was perfect, but you forgot a connector. I like to spend time. Don't forget that one. I sent you the feedback on WhatsApp. It's very important here that you said, okay, I'm a programmer. Let's consider that one. I'm a programmer since 2017. You need to get very, very connected with the structures. Study your structures because according to the structure handbook, when you say since, you cannot use the verb in simple present. Because we are not talking about, you have two options. Or you talk about your present, or you're talking about the time period. A period of time, yeah. A period of time, the structure number six. So the option is I've been a programmer. This matches with the word since. So don't take for granted, don't ignore the, the time of the birth. It's very common that in this exam, people use the verb in present when present is not necessary. So you may think, ah, it's easy. I'm going to talk about my present, my work. Yes, but be careful with conjunctions and, and, uh, and the conjugations. Conjugations, that's the difficult part. Got it? Yes. All right. I've been a programmer. Another positive thing, connectors. I'm a programmer at, what's the company? At Smartbyte. Smartbyte. Like this? Okay. You didn't expect this, right? I I talked in the connector on exactly very common mistake too very very common mistake too in the speaking exam is very common to commit these mistakes take out perfect good job Ryan what about Elsie do you have a job. Mm, yes, I have a job. I had been working at CTR Scientific Scientific since twenty fourteen. Right. So you said I have been working, right? Mm hmm. That's good. Uh, Yes, continue. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have been working is good, but it's better to say I have worked. Why? Mm -hmm. We use I have been working only when we talk about a projects. For example, I have been working in the educational system of my English course. I have worked as an English teacher for 10 years. Mm -hmm. 
but I have been working in my personal project to, since two years past. So the time period is a little different. Mm -hmm. You see, the ING talks about something that is more momentary. Got it? Anyway, both are correct. You can use, it depends on what your intention is. Mm. Can can you repeat? Sure, sure, sure. When, sure. when you use ING? Of course. If the time period is like a project, something that is going to finish, Okay. You use I have been working on. Okay. Right? So you can use it for projects, for things that are short, or for something that has an end in the in the near future. Hmm. The correct one should be I have worked. I have what worked. Exactly. Simple okay. uh, structure mm -hmm. right. Good mm -hmm. job, Elsie. Let's go for the next one. Uh, who connected after you? I think it was, I think it was Jesse. Jesse, right? After you. Jesse, um, what do you do? Uh, I am. I am a worker. <laughs> I am a worker. Okay. That was very open. Very open and very... That was not specific at all. <laughs> what kind of worker? Because it can be... I don't know. I, 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 Starbucks barista is a worker. Yes. Um, and now I am... Now I work in... In, on human resource, sorry, mm -hmm. on human resource, like a talent attraction analyst. And now I work on human resources, like a human attraction analyst. Okay, there are a couple of things that I, we can we can discuss here. So definitely the, the answer, I am a worker. <laughs> that's gonna, <laughs> that's I, gonna I, be... Teacher, I say like um, talent, attraction, not human. Ah, talent. Yes. So inclusive. Very good. Okay. Yeah, the, the expression, I am a worker, can be considered rude. If the person doesn't know you, <laughs> the person will think that you are playing with it with Excel. <laughs> so that was very, very, very abstract and very open. I think that the answer was better. Now you we need to take care of your prepositions. The word on. Mm -hmm. I think it should be. I worked in, in? the human resources department. Uh -huh. Let me check. Like a hunter, yes, like a hunter. Yes. Let me check. Quora. Which proposition? Ah. I work in human resources or on human resources. I think it's in, eh? I think it's on. <laughs> 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 nah, girl. In. In. Yeah. Working. Yes. Here is a professional and important part of Bellboss Every organization is really they specialize in providing a robust support system for the the workplace. Yeah, because we are talking about a department, just and the department has interiors. Okay. The connector on exists too, but the meaning is different. Work in means. Mm -hmm. Department and work on means project. So I work on the development of iOS applications. 
on in projects and in like department. Exactly. Okay. And at for the company. At for the company. Okay. Exactly. So it's very different. Everybody take notes, eh? Work mm -hmm. in, work on, and work at changes the next word. Mm -hmm. Work in department. Work on the project. Okay. Work at the company. Okay. Next. Resource is only one. But in your company, there are many, 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 many people, right? Yes. What is Res the pronunciation? Resource. I am not sure. Resources. Perfect. That's right. Let me go to the sound. And listen to this. Resources. That's plural. Singular. Resource. Human. Human resources. This is resource. Okay. Okay. The last one, and this is for everybody, guys. When you talk about the title of your, uh, yeah, your title, your the name of your position, the name of your position should always use the connector as. Never use the connector like. So I work as an English teacher at a Dutch English in the research department. What is the correction in this case? You see. Mm. Now I work in human resources. Again, again, again. I work where? Resor now I work in human resources as a talent attraction analyst. That sounds much better. Ding the link. Okay. Okay. Good job. Mitch. What are you doing, Mitch? Hi. <laughs> what job do you do? Um well uh, I have worked as a community manager in marketing department for seven years at AG Electronic. Exactly. You corrected which, everything. Which? Uh, which um, uh, is uh, an enterprise mm -hmm. that um, 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 I don't know how to say this. <laughs> uh, well, it's an, an enterprise uh, that commercialize. I commercialize. You commercialize and you teach it. Uh, I, sorry, I don't hear very well. I repeat. I commercialize. You commercialize, but he she it. Uh, commercialize. The extra syllable, commercialize. Or uh, I don't know how to say. Give uh, me an extra syllable. Um, commercializes. Excellent. 
Okay. Six. That's <laughs> okay. the one. Uh, exactly. It's because okay. the, the, the word commercialize ends in an S. So okay. if you add a yeah. second S, I don't understand the second S. Oh, okay. Right. Um, yeah. <laughs> like um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, commercializes. Uh -huh. Electronic components. And for example, like um, uh, mm, I, I, I don't know very well the names in English. Okay. Uh, but um, like capacitores, resistencias. Well, well, you are in an English exam talking to a Spanish uh, speaker. Yeah. So they uh, are not going to know that. Okay. Uh, um, mm, I, uh, I guess that's mm, re, mm, resistors. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> that's it. I think uh, you overcomplicated your answer. Yeah. <laughs> you completed your, your own answer and you started going to, to sections that were out of your. Yeah. yeah. But you know, every time you talk about comp electrical components, you uh -huh. are dealing with technical vocabulary. Yeah. Of course, we don't have that. And if you have it, that can help you on the exam. But if you, if you are still, if you don't know it, better you say, Electrical components and, and periods. Oh, you know? Okay. That can oh, help okay. you. It's because if you say, for example, transistor in English, transistor, look at the level. Um, yeah. <laughs> we are it's talking a, about technical vocabulary. Yeah, it's complicated. Of uh, course. Because I, I, I don't know every name of it. Exactly. Even in Spanish. <laughs> Even in very Spanish. Yeah. It's that's very the reason you should, if you don't know it in Spanish, that's another, another key to say, you know what? Forget about this. Let's focus on B1 vocabulary. I do okay. this. I work on this. I focus on pronunciation and prepositions, on connectors, on conjugations. That's the, the focus. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> so good, 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 good answer. That's my feedback for you. Keep okay. yourself in B1 vocabulary. Okay. Okay. Good. Who entered left to that? Caesar. Caesar, what do you do? Um, I've been um organizational psychologic and I I work at Cometa for people live in nature. For what? Yeah uh, for people live in nature. How people live? People live. Ah, people live. People live. Well, people live in the chart. Ah, okay. Okay. Pay attention to the correction in your partners. Because you said how? You said yeah. this. <laughs> Yes, you, you said how oh, this is a super Spanglish issue. Yes. You work at Cometa as people live. Okay. Okay. And people live. Well, that's the name. That's the name of the company. That's good. Call the name of the position in HR. That's another way. Very good. And the second correction. 
Be careful here, bro. The Why? word psychologic doesn't exist. Okay. Exactly. What a surprise. The word psychologist exists. Psychologist, okay. Which is the, the profession. Yes. Okay. And the word psychological exists too. Psychological. Yes. But psychological is an adjective? Exactly. There you have it. So my feedback for you is study the final syllable of a word. Yes. You know, it's different to say psychologist than psychological than only psychology. And yes. the difference is the final syllable. Yeah, I'm I'm thinking in a uh, it, it's psychology, nor psychologist. Exactly, no psychology is a oh organizational psychology. No, no, no. I've been. You are talking about your position, no? Yeah. No, uh, my my profession. Uh huh. Your profession. I've been an organizational psychologist. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because organizational is a, a, an adjective for psychologist. Exactly. A specific psychologist. And a specific psychologist. Exactly. A type of psychologist. So it cannot be psychology. Yeah. That's the one. So study the, the, the final syllable of the word and understand the difference. And don't think in Spanish. <laughs> yeah. You know, that's affecting you massively. I'm the best in HR, but not in English. <laughs> <laughs> we are working on that, okay? It's a process, okay? <laughs> Good. The next one was Laurita. Laurita. Do you study? Yes, teacher, I study English. Yes, of course. You study English. <laughs> yes. Now, I, I worked since 1994 mm -hmm. as an accountant in my office. Uh, very good, very, very good. Okay. You said this. You very good on the correction of us. That was okay. a very, very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is correct. I worked. And the word as is correct. Accountant is correct. And in my office. Okay. There is a little pronunciation issue with this word. You said science. Is since? And is since. Okay. Since. Right? Okay. Do you know what is science? Science. Okay. Is scientific? Exactly. You're talking about scientific, saying, you know. Okay. You're talking about uh -huh. mm -hmm. scientific. And since is a time expression. So be careful with that since. 1994 was perfect, eh? That part was excellent. And mm -hmm. it's something very, 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 very important for the exam. In the exam, they test you, or in the speaking conversation, they test you on countable and countable nouns. Mm -hmm. Accountant is countable. All the professions are countable. Uh, uh, an accountant. Exactly. I've worked. Since, Since 1994. 1994, as an accountant, exactly. in my office. In my office. In order to specify that you are independent, uh -huh. you can say as an independent accountant or okay. new vocabulary, as okay. 
a freelance accountant. Ah, ah okay. That's the best description for you. Mm -hmm. Extra information. My own office. Ah, okay. This is B1 vocabulary. B1 vocabulary. It's more information. Aha, uh -huh, exactly. It's more B1, it's more intermediate. Okay. See? B1, B1, B1 vocabulary. B1 vocabulary, you can expand your standard uh, responses mm -hmm. and it becomes better. By your English. Right. Okay. Good job, Lorita. Take a note, take inspirations, and let's pass to the next. Did you get that? So, girl. Uh, okay, it probably this piece. No problem. There you have it, guys. The first question, as you can see, looks very easy, but you need to pay attention on the connectors, the vocabulary, the more to perfect your speech. Of course. In the next expressions, it's a little bit more difficult to create perfect structure because the expressions are more, are bigger, okay? So look at these examples. How do you get to work at the university every day? What did you do yesterday, evening last weekend? They are checking if you can include verbs in past, verbs in present, expressions in future, plans, you see, conjugation with the verb S, that you need to master the formulas for the next questions. So let's try it again with the next questions. Do you have vocabulary question in this case? Do you think that English will be useful for you in the future? Tell us about the people you live with. Oh my God. Ah, vocabulary is easy. So the next question is longer, okay? I'm going to take notes of what you say. Let's go with Brian. Brian, how do you get to work every day? <laughs> uh... I I have some trouble with that question. <laughs> oh, How... Yeah, what what does it mean? How do you get to work every day? So, oh, you are facing a phrase and verb or <laughs> vocabulary get to I don't know it's not a crystal verb it's only the verb get <laughs> but definition B1 to obtain to buy to obtain nah, I'd say one it's kindergarten <laughs> Illness, connection on internet, contact, arrive. Uh -huh, say one. Get is a synonym. Oh, to arrive. To arrive. Oh, okay. Uh, what was the, the question again? How do you get to work every day? Uh, I've, I've been worked in my house since 2020. <laughs> and that's it or <laughs> do you have more information <laughs> I, have, I have more questions so 
what do you mean with typing uh, uh, your house? Uh, okay. Uh, I I mean home office. <laughs> Uh -huh, uh -huh. So I, mean, I so? work in my house every day. <laughs> but you are happy, no? Yeah, I'm a happy person. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> tell, tell your age because... <laughs> okay, let's check it out. I've been working on a house since 2020. I'm in home. This is a period. I'm in home office, so I work in my house every day. Okay. It may seem too obvious, but this expansion of your information was really useful. It can trick you to say something like, so. I don't need to take any transportation to go to work or it's pretty comfortable for me to arrive early, I don't know, making a joke or something like that. These type of comments can actually improve your communication level and, and they can provide, they can understand, okay, this guy knows what he's talking about. Yeah. So all this was pretty obvious. Of course, that working in your house, we're talking about transportation. I am testing three things. The exam is testing here. Oh, no. Number one, you understanding the meaning of get in this context. So that was the first issue. If you don't understand the meaning of getting the exam, that can be a very, very, very big problem. You know? The second thing is that you use connectors and adjectives correctly. So, ah, and person it. So using this is a very good point. It's a B1 point. Uh, for me too, you know, this is a very good point. Need to take, this is a very good point. These kind of sections, provide more information about your level. So try to expand yourself to speak naturally, open more, like speak a little bit more. So you can, you can guide the speaker and the listener that you can speak. Okay. Yeah, the, the question doesn't help. <laughs> In my case, <laughs> it doesn't help, but this is not impossible. <laughs> you, can, you can use other types. Fortunately, you can use both. Right? Fortunately, I don't have to take my car because I have been working at home since 2020 after the pandemic. You can speak a lot. Continue speaking. <laughs> okay. Be creative. Okay. There is an issue. Listen. Working. <laughs> I have been working. Option one. I've been working. For option two, I worked. I worked. Yeah. <laughs> Never I have been worked because that is an incorrect structure and that helps, uh, you know, across. Teacher, yes, teacher. In, in number one, I've been working in it's not necessary to. I've been I've been to working. No, 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 no. This is a, a 
this is a do you remember what is necessary for the ing yeah verb look at this this is the verb it's a comp uh, it's the complex no okay. a combination no. yeah uh -huh. a combination of formula six and formula three uh -huh. formula six is i have no or yes. formula five uh, six have okay so it's formula six i have and then the very past participle yes this very past participle connects with formula three the verb to be and mm -hmm. then the verb in ing okay okay right to speak about momentary points in the, in the, in the time things that will finish soon okay i got it thank good. you good good job so brian you have you always get the trick you was i'm sorry for that Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Kimen, are you back? She's not back. Okay, Elsie. Elsie, what did you do yesterday evening? Mm. Yesterday, I <clears throat> I arrived at war at seven a.m. Okay. Um. Got out at five. PM and this was because I had um a bit and it means that I spent many hours um many hour hours um doing the the different um, different parts, or um, I don't know how to say, it, but we have a um, different numbers to fill 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 out. Okay. Okay. With the sun information, and oh. we spend a lot of time. Exactly. This. In the different parts okay well so that, that was a good fix when you said i don't know how to say it but we do this and this and this and that that's a very good uh, way to handle it. when you don't know the vocabulary you can explain it so good job in that case no problem in the word bid is it better to use bidding or bid which one do you use in the office sorry can you repeat in the office you use bid or bidding um i saw both and i think that i i don't understand the difference uh -huh. in, the, in the context but but i had read uh bid and bidding and other word uh auction or auction auction uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. auction auction bid and bidding there is no difference. As I, uh, if you associate it with auction, there's no difference. Be it an offer of, by a person or a company to pay a particular amount of, of money for something. Bidding, the act of offering prices, especially at an auction. Yeah, it's no, bidding. It's bidding, no? But it can be also this one because you got it, you obtained it, no? An offer. By a person and companion to pay in a particular. I I did the bidding. I did the offer um, to to the government. So then, uh, hi, Charlie, you you use the verb in the in the answer. You said I had a bidding. 
right? We mm-hmm. have a bit, a bit. I mm-hmm. think that should be in the context that you want is I made a baby. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Why? Because you are actually, you created it. I, when, when you said I have, I understand that you obtained it. Okay. It's the opposite. Right? Okay. How does this that was a pretty intermediate. Uh, I made a bid. I made a bidding. I made I made an a, option. Is correct three options? Yeah, the three okay. of them are right. This is mm-hmm. correct. Very good. Mm-hmm. And the rest learn the vocabulary for the numbers. Probably that's gonna help you. But I like when you said it, it means that I spent and it means I spent many hours doing the different numbers. Let's call it like that. The different part contains different numbers. How can I say partidas? Uh-huh. Exactly. Partidas. There should be a there should be a a technical word for that, but it's not my area. No, we can talk about components. In, in Spanish, they say partidas or lotes. Oh, shippings or components of transit. Components of um, on the area of, what's the name of the department? Uh, Purchase no, uh, there's a name for this. Mm. What's the name of your department? <laughs> Gobierno. Gobierno. Okay, <laughs> The key element of that. The most bits you win, the more you will grow. It's a crucial must to master the area of construction bidding. You will not only just experience this. Five things to keep in mind during the bidding process. You're bidding for a prior job, you must be suspicious of the bids. After all, the more bids you win, the more your business will grow. It's crucial to master the area of construction bidding. If you want to be a long term success, build, there should be a word. Nah. Lote has a translation. Lote in English is batch. So you can use the word batch as a, as a reference in this case. But anyway, similar to what happened to Mitch, don't overcomplicate this, this test because that's technical vocabulary when you need to focus on your structure and uh, conjugation. So technical vocabulary will distract you from the important parts of the exam. Okay? Okay. Which takes me to this. You know? Spend this present. You have two options. You arrived late or you left the office late because you had to. I had to spend many hours or I spent many hours. How is the pronunciation? Spent? Spent. Spent. Exactly. Spent. Okay. Because you are talking in past, you need to use your verbs in past. Got it? Yes. That's my feedback to you. Let me copy that over here. There we go. 
Then next one. Question. Um, Jesse. Uh, did you do anything yesterday evening? Um, can you repeat? Uh, the you do anything yesterday evening last week? Last weekend? Or yesterday? Yeah. Uh, no. You are no. listening because in the exam you are not going to read. Okay, can only, you repeat, yes, teacher? Yes, of course. Did you do anything yesterday evening? Yesterday evening. Okay. Yes, I did. Yesterday I went um, to my work. <laughs> and so I, I work it. <laughs> I work it all the evening and okay as a worker, <laughs> like work, as a worker. and not not really and okay my my okay I I finish it work at six p.m. and after I came back to to my home, but and what, did you, what, what did you do back home? I came back. Ah, okay, yes, you are Came back to my home, but um, but not really because I I visited I visited a a, a friend in her house, mm -hmm. and I I was with her to talk about about um uh, about. Us, <laughs> us, probably. <laughs> mm -hmm. And after I came back to my home. Perfect. Let's talk about that. Your your vocabulary is very, very expanded. That, that's going to help you a lot. So what you need to take care of is something that we spoke in previous classes. What's <laughs> pronunciation of verbs in past? which is precisely the, the focus of this test. They are going to ask you a lot of verbs in past. So you need to practice the, the correct pronunciation. Okay. Okay, finish, finished. Finished with Do you tea, read? right? Uh -huh, with tea. Do you have the structures handbook? Yes. In the structures handbook, you will have, you will see the, the pronunciations of the past. Okay. Of the ED. Check it out, open it. You have all the rules there. Right? Okay. Now, I went to my work. This one is a little bit tricky because the correction here should be well, in, in previous classes, in, in this particular level, we see that my work. Is redundant because according to the rules of Article the, mm -hmm. there is one rule that speaks about very specific and personal um, locations. Very personal locations never use the or my. Okay. And it's a specific list. This specific list includes home, work, bed, church, school, jail for some reason. Mm -hmm. Jail is a very personal movie. So you don't go 
to the work. You know, and you don't go to your work. <laughs> you go to your office or you get in your office to be more specific. Okay. I will go to work. Okay. To my office? To my office or to work. It's correct. Okay. To my office. Okay. Or to work. To work. Okay. Only that's okay. Okay. because the okay. second one is more more open to English, like the difference between Spanish and English. This this type of tests check if you know the differences between Spanish and English. Mm, can you repeat? I um, I think it's to my office. Well, sorry, my office, right? Or uh -huh. my which, office is correct. But which which is better? To work. To work. Okay. Yeah. I want to work. Uh -huh. Went to my work sounds super strange <laughs> to a native person. Okay. And the last one, if the same with bed, church, school, and jail, never use that and never use mine. Okay. Mm -hmm. The last one, I was with her and talked about us friends. Look at this. When, when you refer the second person is the same as the first person, you need to use reflexive pronouns. What is a reflexive pronoun? Reflexive talks about a mirror. Do you know what a mirror is? Mm, yes. Right? Mm, yes, I know. So you are looking into the mirror and you are looking into yourself. <laughs> right? All right. When you see the mirror, you see who? Me. Myself. <laughs> Sorry. Exactly. <laughs> Use myself. The same happens with we. Uh, ourselves. Exactly. So I was with her and we talked about ourselves. But teacher, I said about our, our problems. Oh. Not. Okay. Even connection problems. problems. Yes. Uh -huh. Ours, bro. Then the problem is. <laughs> Ours, problem. Ah, okay, yes. Possessive. Exactly. Us. Uh, did you say ours or ours? I, I use oh, ours. Aha. Uh -huh. This doesn't exist. It, I use us, sorry, us, is ours. Ah, ah, exactly. Uh, okay. What are you talking about? Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah, if, oh. It was a possessive issue. Okay. Study your possessives and your reflexives. You know, another. Now you have two things to study reflexives and possessives. Okay. Okay. Right. Good. The next one. Caesar. Okay, um, teacher. Do you live with your family? Mm. No, no, uh, only, I only uh, live with my girlfriend. Tell us about you know, the people you live with. In this case, your girlfriend. Um, okay. Um, since 20, 2022, yeah. I I lived with my girlfriend. Um, um it's fabulous because she she and me have, has have have 
No. Has. Uh, no. Uh, have. Have a. Uh, 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 a very good communication with um no a uh, very good communication in in <laughs> how do you say que haceres? No, tell you if I am the Cambridge person in this moment. <laughs> okay, um, very good communication for um. Try to explain it. Similar to what happened to Mitch and Nelson. Try to explain. If you don't have the vocabulary, explain what you were trying to speak about. Okay. Um she she and me have a good communication for um times for cleaning. Was like good friend good exit. Yeah. Um I love her. And that's it. Um we we have uh three 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 pets, three dogs, chihuahua dogs. Um yeah, this is my, my family. Fantastic. Very good, brother. Okay, brother. Let's check this out. Very good, eh? This answer was very good. You corrected many, many, many things. This, this uh, process of have, has, have, has, have, has, you need to start like associating it to Spanish. In this case, Spanish can help. You know? Yeah. Nosotros tiene o nosotros tenemos? Tenemos. Naturalmente lo pusiste, right? Si tú asocias tiene con la terminación S, automáticamente vas a decir he has she has and he has. Y entonces ya te va a sonar raro cuando digas they has. O sí, justo, has. justo así lo pensé. Eso, eso, justo, bien hecho. Entonces, cuando hablas en, primera, en segunda persona, es que ella tiene, él tiene, ahí te tienes que meterla a eso. Los demás no le ponen a eso. Y funciona con cualquier verbo que tú quieras. So, Same. buena estrategia, good strategy. In this case, that's a good correction of uh, we have. Okay. Okay. It was correct. Uh, what else? I live with my girlfriend. Uh -huh. That was perfect. Uh, very good communication. Excellent. Finally, you said very good communication. You know, much communication. Yeah, I, I teach for the last class. Excellent, man. Yes, yes, that's the point. I love her, and we have three chihuahua dogs. This is, this is perfect. Okay, starting all this, this is perfect. Okay, perfect, perfect. And let's talk about corrections. When you say 2022, I understand automatically that this is a year. Yes, I I remember the the last the class when uh you teach us the um adjectives um, when, um, 22 years old year old and and I think that it's necessary here. No, that's a well, different thing. Because we are talking about H on the order of adjectives. Yeah. Okay. H, yes. Yes, because uh, 
the the last time I only used 2022, for example, in my job, only say 2020, 2023, 2022. Perfect. That's the one. Because 2022 works as a name. The name of the year. Okay. So if you include a second name, you have two names. Year is a name. Okay. So you're saying since year, year. And that's redundant. Okay. Okay. So for ages is correct. 20, 20 years old, 30 years old, 30 year old boy. But in this case, that's definitely not necessary. Got okay. it? Now, she and me, she and me. There is one pronoun to say she and me. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't know why I think in me and not in I. That's not the problem. Let's listen again. There is a pronoun to say she and me. She? She, she is necessary to change? I repeat. There is one pronoun. There is one pronoun uh, to say okay. the two. We. Exactly. Why don't you use we? Yeah, That's faster. She... Yeah, I, I think I, I think faster and and in in my mind I, I think faster in English, but I I only have one one thing. This you know you 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 can't have uh, no you haven't no. You can't any any error any mistake any 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 mistake any error yes what any error any error you can't any error and and thinking very fast in English I think she and me okay but are you thinking in English or in Spanish. I think the problem is thinking in Spanish. Twice. <laughs> in, Both. In Both. Both. Both in parallel. Well, thinking in English is self-correction. Okay. Yeah. First, we translate from Spanish to English, and then we correct. Right? Step one, translation, is beginners. Step two, correction is intermediate. Yeah, I I I I think in, in English, but I don't have any any ideas for speaking. It, it's oh. the thinking in Spanish in my life, for example. Uh, yes, normal. That's that's why that's why I repeat. We is normal that you think in, in Spanish. That's correct. So first, translate to English. Translate is traducir. Primero traduce English, and then correct. Lo que pasa es que estás usando solamente la traducción sin usar la corrección. La corrección es la que te falta. Con eso ya, ya este, te salvas de estos. Sí, justo. Por eso tal vez después sí use la corrección al usar a uh, have a very good communication word. Exactamente, ya lo estás empezando a implementar. Es correcto. Ahora falta que empieces a implementarlo desde el inicio. Mira cómo creo que fue la segunda parte en donde ya empezó a corregirse todo. Ya te está saliendo. Solo necesitas implementarlo desde acá. Primero piénsalo en español, tradúcelo con las palabras que tienes y ahora la segunda etapa es Todas las lecciones que hemos visto te ayudan a verificar si lo que estás diciendo es correcto. Sí, más bien arrancar bien, sin prisa. 
Exacto. No, no, no necesitamos pesos. Eso es justamente lo más importante. Lo cortes. Right. Nice. Good job. Take your slide, take your screen, and let's finish my video. Switch to Spanish. ¿Qué opinan del speaking exam? Mi clase favorita. Sí, en serio. Oh, okay, that's cool. Sí, es la que, bueno, es la parte que más me gusta. Wow, eso es muy importante. Qué bueno, qué bueno que te gustó. Entonces, la, la, la parte de speaking no la, no la corregimos directamente. La verdad, bueno, la trato de corregir entre, entre las clases, pero ahora sí estamos dedicando una clase completa a esto para justo perfeccionarlo antes de decirlo. ¿Tiene alguna pregunta? ¿Alguien? All right. Es viernes, el cuerpo lo sabe. Procede a la iglesia. See you then on Monday. All right. Have a very good day. Good weekend. Thank you, Richard. You too. Thank you. Have a very good night. Good night, guys. Thank you. Good night, all. Bye bye. Good night. Bye. See you later. Bye. bye. See you.